Welcome to another video. I am in Arkansas and I'm at some um, crystal caves. I'm going to take you guys to. It's kind of top secret, but I'm going to let the secret out. What you do is you drive up a county road that's called the Crystal Road. That's all I'm going to tell you. If you can find Crystal Road, which is just south of Mount Ida a little ways and you don't have much room to park like this is it this is the parking and my truck is really muddy so this little turn in will come pretty quick and there's a path that you'll take right here it's a pretty good hike maybe a mile so take what you need I've headed on down the path as you can see my truck back there so yeah you just kind of walk down this path here and cross like four creeks might be three it's been a it's been a year since i've been here and these are man-made caves it's not like you know they're natural so th these were made back in the uh, world war one or two maybe both of them to get the uh quartz crystals for our for the uh, communication radios Okay, I've walked maybe um, I don't know 40 yards looks like we're coming up to the well from since I talked to you guys last which was a total of about I don't know 200 foot steps about six minutes and 32 seconds we have arrived to the first water crossing it's slippery okay rubber boots bring them you know summertime you can come here and uh wear flip-flops it'd be stupid but you can do it this is a very remote area you do not want to get hurt out here um yeah like i say the summertime there's going to be rattlesnakes and all that crazy stuff there's some uh centipedes about this long in the caves and around the caves so that's why i'm here in the winter it's gonna get down to about 30 well it's like 40 down to 40 tonight finally catching a break on the cold okay it has nothing to do with crystals okay i'm now at the second crossing which was only about 102 footsteps You can see the quartz showing up. See that white? That's the like a quartz vein. Oh, my backpacks. All right. So here's number two. Okay, looks like I walked up on crossing number three. Beautiful. Okay, I'm now at the fourth crossing. Whoa, way too deep. Oh my God. Oh, over my boot for sure. And that fourth one's a doozy. Okay. And up on top of this, up here, we're getting to the caves. And at the very top, I believe that's an active crystal mine. And if you peek your head, they have snipers, so don't peek over the top. 
Hmm, it's like somebody's here. There's a stick and there's some rocks placed on a big quartz vein, chunky. There's some little crystals. About a 4,000 pounder. So there may be somebody out here. Okay, getting back on the path. So that's the crossing we just, the last one we took. And you don't want to go that way. Keep going this way. And I believe it's like 423 footsteps to the first opening. Should have brought the gold pan. All right, well, we made it. As you can see, I'm going to drop my stick. We have a little community campfire. So this is it. Once you reach this spot, you know you're here. There's caves up all along this. Ah, let me get up there. Oh, all through this. I've never been down that way, so there's no telling what's uh, beyond this point. I'm sure they didn't just hammer into this section only. I'm sure these are all over Arkansas around the uh, quartz belt. So you just kind of walk up these rocks like this. Rain, go away. And here we go. When I need to get to a cave the most. And they're way up there. You can see them up in here. Wow, somebody's built some scaffolding up there. Holy crap. Crazy. Whew. Hey, I'm dry. This really helps. I'm like dry here. Awesome. Yeah, they're just right up along this path here. Nice little quartz vein. But yeah, I think this would be a good time to have a safety meeting before I head on up and, uh, you know, kind of remember safety things. Okay, time to head on up. Ah, dang, raindrop around the eyeball. I'm going to head on up. Rain kind of settled there for a little bit. Oh man, there's all kinds of quartz right here. It's just keep on going. Uh, okay, here we go. You can see some caves right there. There's a good one. First, want to ask if there's uh, any bears. Hello, are there any bears home? No bears. Oh, wow, look at here. Little crystal tip. Very small. But water clear, that's a good sign. That's what we want. I like those water clear and a good milky with some clarity isn't too bad there we go there's one there's a cave they go down inside this uh quartz vein here and this is all quartz of course you got the sandstone but it's just quartz vein quartz vein check out check out this little arch isn't that sweet Okay, so here I am at the uh, one of the caves, at the uh, secret caves in Arkansas. Not a secret anymore, huh? But I see some eyeballs. Looks like a couple eyes. Let's get the flashlight out and see what the hell that is before I go crawling up in there. I don't know what that could be. 
Got the old handy dandy DeWalt. Let's get up in there a little bit farther first. Oh my God! Ah! Oh, just a beer can. So here's inside the cave. Yes, that's my steam. It's cold rain and I'm sweaty. As you can see, there's pockets where people have chiseled up into the, or there's a pocket in the, here's a, here's a vein chunk, you know, pieces of the vein right above the light. And of course they worked the whole vein out all the way up inside here. All kinds of quartz veins running up through all that and pockets. And it looks like my little spot hasn't been touched. Nice. I didn't bring my rock bars. Definitely gonna need rock bars in here. Chisels. But as you can see, there's just crystals all. I'll get my other uh, camera. Just a pocket full of crystals right there. And you can just kind of look here on the ground and pick them up. That's the caves. So we explored one cave. This one doesn't really go in too deep. But you can walk on past these here and work your way up. We came up that way. And you can work your way on up and that company kind of dumps tailings off over here like this is all tailings right here from the company above us dumping over so let's get on up to the top okay i walked my way up to the top where they've been dumping this huge tailing pile over the cliff and check these out right here on the surface awesome it's a nice little crystal and then right beside it another one so we're in a good spot okay the GoPro battery died so I'm on the cell phone which is a much better image up close check out this one I found Wow focused in holy moly that's a good one there dang it's right there on the surface come on focus beautiful And yes, I need to trim my fingernail. Okay, just a few seconds later, I see this here, and it's looking kind of chipped on this side. Nope. No chip. Just a... Come on, focus. A little crystal don't come out here and expect to find really big crystals like you've seen in my other videos from Ron Coleman mining you know those are amazing crystals from that place and to get those you almost have to go to Ron Coleman's here you're gonna find smaller crystals like I showed you and uh, so don't come out here expecting to find really big crystals they're just not out here let's go and check out some more caves um, it's starting to rain pretty good, so I'm going to show you some more of the caves, and I'm probably going to pack up and head back to the truck. Okay, I worked my way on the other side of that tailing pile, and I'm in this cave here, the first one, when you get up, up here, and here's a nice crystal just laying right there on the top. No digging required. Awesome. All right, let's keep going. And a swing of the camera 
two seconds later and it looks to be chipped up pretty good oh what do we got here nice little point Okay, here we go. Oh, man. Ooh, oh, not nothing. Fossil on. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. whoa, check that out. It's broken. <laughs> that thing is, well, it's not. Well, that's the, that's the tip. Look at that crystal. Holy shnikes. If you used to come out here and you really want to find some good crystals, you, you're going to have to tap on these walls, find a hollow spot, and... You'll need chisels and rock bars and hammers and a <clears throat> cordless jackhammer. Okay, I've worked my way to the end of the caves on this side. I'm at, on the tailing pile and right here, what do we have? Come on, be something. Oh, sweet, it is. My biggest quartz crystal for the day so far. Awesome. Hopefully you can hear this. Hear how that's really uh, solid. And then, see, I don't know if you can hear this. Hear that hollow oh. like there's a pocket there and it could be a pocket of this just that sandstone you know it's not solid like the quartz so it's just not it's just sandstone it may not even be a pocket full of crystals you just have to do the work and hope for the best. Okay, I worked my way from that pile down to this one here that and I found this one here. Got a little diamond facet right there. Fortune window. Nice. Let's see what we got up here. And rumors say that there is, or there's some gold in these uh, veins, in these quartz. Chunks of white quartz. Like that one here, there could be some gold. So that's the rumor. Uh, never know. So I'm inside the cave. It's really hard to see. I didn't really bring a lot of lighting today. So right here I was digging Let's check this one out. If it's anything. Yeah, it's got a facet there and one there, so just kind of maybe that's the point right there. Right there's a facet and here's one. So yeah, that's a nice muddy 
really hard to see, I know. All right, I'm gonna keep picking away. Ooh, scary. Wow, check this one out. Oh. Check this one out. I don't fall into the camera. Oh my gosh. I knocked the camera over. These here in these caves are like their own style. You know, I'm sure they're in other places in Arkansas, but you don't really, this shape and formation, they're real small for one and sometimes real long and skinny. And they're, they're great for wire wrapping. Here's another look inside a cave. Yeah, it's hard to see. It goes way up in there. Let me know if you can see my uh, my light. Whoa. Yep, the caves. Pretty sweet. And remember, do not come out here without an adult if you're under the age of 18. Very dangerous here. Okay, so I'm at this cave right here then uh, just work this little area was it even a couple minutes and this one here popped out oh sweet look at that one there get all the mud off oh yeah well that's it for now I hope you all enjoyed these crystal caves and if you do come out here be really careful you know caves are dangerous and i hope you all enjoyed the crystals i found um be looking out for another video coming up soon hopefully some bigger and better crystals and i will see everybody on the next video